Welcome, my name is Stephanie. I am a Canva design coach helping VAs and still social media managers make money from Canva with one-to-one -one Canva design coaching. And I also like making tutorial videos. So here we are on our Canva home screen and we are going to create a multi-link page, very much like Linktree, but something that you can personalize right off the bat even in a Canva free account. So let's go to our home page and we're going to create a design and it's simply going to be a Canva story, a, a, an Instagram story. It's the perfect size for me and you can use this to do absolutely anything that you want. You can personalize and customize it any way you want. And while Canva is thinking about it, I'm carrying on talking. <laughs> okay, so let's just enlarge this a teensy weensy bit and get some sh some color on this um, rather bland and boring piece of design real estate. I am going to add in a a rectangle. R on your keyboard brings up a rectangle, and I'm simply just going to do a little bit of personalizing because it's what I do. It's what I like. Do that sort of setup and let's add a frame because we want our people to see who we are and to know that they are going to be dealing with us. Do that, maybe duplicate it, make the back one just a smidgen larger change the color of that to something that is going to stand out and position the other one right on top. Now on this one, you're going to add a photograph because let's um, lady behind computer. All right, because it's easy like that. not graphics. Let's go to photos and we find someone over there and we're going to put her there. And this could be you. It could be your logo. It could be absolutely anything. And let, I want this one in the front like that, just to give it a little bit of a different look and feel. Move it down a little bit like that. And now we're going to enter your name and surname your name and last name name and surname we can put that over there and we're going to include a little bit of a bio a very very short bio include a very short bio here um, of about two to three lines not too many basically just telling who you are and what you do for whom 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 you do it like that and let's do that and see if it goes down to okay it goes down to three lines Left a line, maybe just bring it in a little bit. So it's in the center over there. Make sure it's in the center, not quite. There it is. So now you can add your text. Um, text into clickable link. But this is pretty boring. We want it to stand out. So what I do is I insert the line and I change the weight of the line to something that I could get behind like this. And in, just put it over there. Let's just position it to backwards in the center. Take the text, position that in the center of that and change the color because, you know, we want it to stand out. Maybe not quite so big, um, but it's entirely up to you. Group it 
And now look what Canva does. So I'm going to duplicate this a number of times. Let's just take that away so that we've got the plus sign. And now I'm going to position it over there like that. And when I press the plus sign, Canva is going to align it automatically. All right, so there you've got a couple that you've now included where you're going to add your editable link. Now we want to make sure that we want people to find us on social media as well. So we're going to look for World Wide Web and we'll use that one. It's positioned over there. And we want to use Twitter and we'll use that one. Let's bring that one down to there as well. And Facebook. And once again, the same one. What am I doing? Same one over there. And then we're going to do LinkedIn. You can have as many as you want or as few as you want. It's entirely up to you. That one didn't work so well. Well, you know what? It can still work and to bring it down there as well. Now you're going to select all of them and get them roughly the same size and just start positioning them. I'm going to show you a very nifty trick. It's a little bit pickledy pickledy all over the place. Click on position, click on tidy up. Canva goes in the background and it ties it, tidies it up. Now you want to change your colors over there. Simply click on your color button and change it to something that is going to be easy to do. Instead of entering each color on its own, once you've selected the first one, click on change all and all of them will be changed. Click on that color and change that as well. And why is it not changing? There it goes. And so you can remain on brand like that. That's not quite what I had in mind. Let's change it back to white. And it's the blue that we want to change to the very vibrant brand color. And there, is, oh yes, of course, to enter your clickable link and make sure that your text is highlighted with the solid blue line, click on the link, a little pop-up box will open and there you can simply go and enter your URL and hit enter. It's underlined, meaning that you can now go and see what it's going to be like. Let's size it back down again. Now, this part here is where you can use all of your visual branding to make this absolutely 100% on brand for you. Now you want to go and publish this as a something that's going to have a clickable link. So the obvious choice here would be to select the three dots over there, select the three dots, see all down there, and then simply go and scroll down to where you see website. You're going to publish it as a website on presentation like this, click open website. It's, uh, it opens it in a new tab. And that is the URL that you are now going to be using. And there's your clickable link that you're going to be able to. And these ones down here, you can um, uh, enter clickable links as well. So click on there. And we'll simply use the same URL on demand.net, like so. It's just, um, and then your Twitter handle, your Facebook page, and then your LinkedIn um, URL as well. So let's just refresh that one because we've now changed on this. So when we click on our clickable link down uh, up at the top over there, it opens up in a new page. When we go down here to did this not take? It was supposed to take. Go to link. It will open. Yes, it opens as well. All right. So this is how you create your own 
personal branded link tree look alike. You can add all of your visual branding over here, but keep in mind that less is more. I have quite a number. I use it mainly on, on Instagram and I'll show you. So anyway, as I was saying over here with this, with this URL up at the top here, go to bit.ly, B-I-T-L-E-Y or B-I-T dot L, I don't know, bit.ly.com and change it to something personal, personalized. So I have done that. And when people click on it, on my Instagram profile, this is what they see. With all of my clickable links over there, and it takes a while, and they, they can email me, go to my webpage, LinkedIn, as well as Facebook. So that is how easy it is to create a multi-link, link tree lookalike, that you can personalize absolutely 100% without having to spend a single cent on anything. Because Canva free is free forever. Unless you use something that is a pro feature, then you need to pay for it. All right, if there's anything else, holler, I'm happy to hear from you. Take care.